Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to map your USB for Mac OS Hacking Touch. Regardless of the version of Mac OS you intend to install, this should work fine. Now one of the reasons for mapping your USB is that some of your internal devices like Bluetooth would not show unless you map your USB. Some of your USB ports may not work as well. Now let's head to our browser and then search for USB Toolbox. Click on the link to USB Toolbox right here on GitHub. Now click on the latest release right here. And then download windows.exe. Next, we're also going to download USB 2 box kext. So search for USB 2 box kext. And then click on the link. Link in description as well. Click on the latest release. And then download the release as well. Lastly, you would also want to download proper tree if you don't have it downloaded already. Click on the link to GitHub. Click on code and then download zip. So you should have USB 2 box, USB 2 box text and proper tree. Now we can close our browser and then open our download folder. And here we go. This is proper tree. This is USB 2 box text. This is USB 2 box and this is our EFI configuration file. So the first thing we're going to do is run the windows.exe file here which is our USB 2 box. Run. And it should open up in command prompt just like this. Now the first thing we're going to do is change settings by entering C. And then we're going to disable bind companions. So let's enter C and then hit enter. Now we can enter B and then hit enter to go back. The first thing we're going to do is discover ports. So enter D and then hit enter. So this should be able to fetch all our USB ports on our system. So I'm just going to drag this down so we can see everything. So you can see AMD USB 3.1 which is our first controller with 12 ports. And you can see the second controller with 8 ports making it a total of 20 ports on my system. Now the USB ports limit on macOS is 15 and we have 20 right here. So we're going to remove some in the next stage. So you can see the ones on green are the ones that are active like ports 12 right here. Is my keyboard G5 and 3 and port 1 right here is my mouse and you can also see port 2 right here which is my microphone I'm using right now. Now if you have a USB stick available then plug it into each and every one of the ports and then wait for 5 seconds and it should refresh and select here. So you can see port 6 is now showing. So you can see port 5 is showing, port 6 is showing. Now we can go back by entering B. And you can see we have saved data which is loaded. Now enter S to select ports so we can build the text. Hit enter. So here we can see port 2, port 3, port 5, port 6, port 12, port 13, 14, 17 and 18. Which are all selected and you can see some other ones that are not selected. Remember the maximum we can use is 15. Now for every USB 3 port there is a USB 2 companion as well. So we don't really need the USB 2 companion of the USB 3 ports and we can disable that and then select everything else. So first we're going to select everything by entering A and then hit enter. So you can see everything is selected green. Now look at port 2 and port 3. Port 2 and port 3 they are USB 3.0 but you can see by the side companion to 5, companion to 6. So let's look at port 5 and 6. So you can see port 5 and port 6 right here which is companion to port 2 and port 3. So this is a USB 3 port but it is also showing as USB 2 as well. So we are going to get rid of port 5 and port 6 since it is the same thing as port 2 and port 3. Check down here again and you should be able to see the same pattern. USB 13 and 14 right here. You can see companion to 17 and 18. And you can see 17, 18 which is the USB 3 port option. So we are going to disable all the companions that are USB 2. So we should be able to fit in the limit. So in my case, I am going to disable port 5, port 6 since both of them are companions to 2 and 3 which are USB 3 ports. So let's enter that in 2, comma, 3 and then look for the next companion which is 13 and 14 which is companion to 17, 18. So let's enter 13, comma, 14. Now let's look for more. 
and we can also see 15 and 16 which is usb 2.0 and they are companion to 19 and 20 which we can see down here which are both usb 3 ports so we're going to enter 15 and 16. so from this list right here port 2 3 13 14 15 16 are companions to usb 3 ports they are usb 2 but they are the same thing with the usb 3 port so we're going to disable the usb 2 option so we can use usb 3. so now we can hit enter and it is going to unselect those ones which are companions right here so make sure you selected them properly you can always go through them and you can see 7 to 12 which are normal usb 2 options and you can see these are just guests there is no companion attached to it now you can see our first usb controller now has 10 selected ports and our second usb controller has four selected ports which is perfect since the maximum is 15 and we've selected 14. now enter k to build text and then hit enter and we've successfully built the text enter b to go back enter b again to go back and now we can enter q to quit now head back to your file explorer and you should see utbmap.kext this is our usb map now let's extract usb2 box right here so you can see this is a usb2 box text so copy usb2 box dot text right here i'm just going to cut it and then let's paste it in our download now we're going to copy usb2 box dot text and utb map dot text and then go to our efi folder go to oc go to text and then we can paste these two files there so this is our usb mapped text and this is usb2 box text now we can use proper tree to implement these changes so let's extract proper tree and then let's run proper tree windows batch file right here click on file open now locate your efi folder oc select config which is our configuration file open now we can click on file and then oc snapshot which is going to add our usb text and usb 2 box text so select folder and then we can save and then close this now we can move our efi folder to our flash drive and then boot into our mac os and all your usb ports should be working if this video was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one